by 17. This video is short because I got married on 17 July 1999. That is, if you'll be seeing this video, then it will be 17 of July 2024. That is 25 years. To God be the glory. You see, why I shot this video is to advise newly married couple and those who have married that there's something that they don't tell us in marriage counseling. And that there's something that pastors, imams, and elderly people might not tell us about marriage. What is that? Let me use myself as an example. It's the husband that has time to be for my wife is different from me myself that is kind the would at this time. They are two different entities. But the problem we have is when we get married, we start to match the two together because pastors and imams will tell us that man and woman, because you are joined together, you become one. I want to tell you today that it is not one physically. It is one in the spiritual realm. And anybody who try to make that one to be one in the physical realm and the spiritual realm will find it difficult to come with the marriage. Let me explain, because some of you now come under this comment section and start saying, hey, you are talking, you are, as if you are not a Christian. Let me explain myself. I've been living with my parents for 30 years before I got married. I develop a character. I develop an habit, the way I talk, the way I play, the way I do things for 30 years before a woman came to come and live with me. And that character, that habit, the way I talk, the way I do things, the way I reason, the way I relate with people, somebody will now come one day and want to change it because it's a woman. No, now. No. Let me, let me explain further. What I mean is, I serve as Wojo Adeka in this army. It's different from me being husband. It's not the same thing. That is why we have problems in marriages. When we got married, somebody will now start practicing things that we covet from Moyimbo people. We start eating together. Wife will not eat when the husband do not enter the house. And wife will think if he goes out, he must call the husband five, six times in a day. Husband will try doing that thing five times in a day. And we try giving ourselves the names, pet names, baby, <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> sweetie, sugar. That is what we covet from Unibo people. It is not our tradition. Our tradition is... A man, as head of the family, wife respect and subject to man as head of the family. When that man is 100% responsible, there is no born any woman where, in, under that tradition, to raise his voice or to disrespect his husband. But today, a man that is 35 years of age will go and marry a young girl of 22, and that girl will not start calling him baby. I'm not saying getting petty name is wrong, but what I'm telling us is, let us differentiate ourselves from be being the husband or from being the wife. A woman that has been living with his parents for 30 years, she has developed a habit, a behavior, the way she talks, the way she thinks, based on the background of the parents who brought her up. So a man now married that woman overnight you want to change the woman. It is not possible. That is why we keep having problems in marriages. Let the man let his wife know his personality, his person as can they would at this time. Let my wife let me know her personality as or don't allow or learn really. That's how two of us could work together. So nobody will pretend. That is why I said, when you are in courtship, it's different from when you are in marriage. When you are in marriage, 
nothing like love again, but rather understanding and ability for two of us to be able to live with each other. But we don't want it because pastor told us that we are one. We want to do everything in the same way. In the name of you must be loyal, you must be truthful, and you must be submissive. For example, a man who has lived his life for 32 years before he got married. And maybe he saw that woman in marriage maybe around 30 years of age. You know the number of messages, number of phone calls he has saved in his phone. And the woman come one day and I said, because he want to marry, I must be checking that phone. I must know what is in that, that phone. Yes, I'm not saying it is wrong. But let me tell you, that is how problem used to come in marriages. We do not learn to understand that it's a two separate entity, the husband and the person itself. So to all of you that just married, don't copy anybody. That way I'm going to. Let your wife know how you are when, you, when she came to your life. And don't change. If there's anything he does not like in you, is it that he lying or you voluntarily leave that habit? Not that you'll be forced to leave there because if you are forced to leave the habit, you will still go back to that behavior and habit. But if voluntarily, then you may make up your mind. So, like wives too, learn how to understand your husband. That is why majority of us we are very fine and very good. Today, I thank God, it's my 25 years of marriage. I do not allow the real me to overshadow the husband that I am to my wife. My wife knows the way I behave, the way I think, the way I do things. When I'm married, I still do the same thing. If I'm in any occasion, I will crack jokes, I will play. Not that when my wife is there, I'll not be doing like a gentleman. No, that is why we have problems. He knows. He knows the way his husband reads me. He knows the way I talk. He knows the way I will react in any situation because I've never pretend I allow her to understand the man he married. God will help us. To all families that are struggling to make up their home, God will give you peace. To those who are just married, I pray that God will make your home. I'm happy today. And I say, Congratulations to myself. My name is Woja Adeka in this army. I'm a practicing fertility scientist in the Kedja Lagos State, Nigeria. Till I come your way next time. Thank you.